If you're messing around with anything in the IGF-1 category or growth hormone category in general, you want to keep some sort of sugary candy in your gym bag just in case you go hypo. You don't want to be going randomly dizzy, almost passing out in the gym and people looking at you funny when you could just have that Sour Patch Kids in there. Boom, fix that right up. What is up everyone, it's Roos. I hope everyone is doing well. Today's ASMR sip is 1907more.com coupon code Russo. ASMR Spritz Intelligent Elephant Carbon. There's your noises. Young LA for this shirt, code Russo. All other discounts in the pinned comment below. Welcome back to Pedication. Today, I'm talking about the infamous elusive Incrolex, recombinant IGF-1, the real IGF-1. So I'll have Andrew throw up a little Rich Panini, Rich Piano, shout out the goat Rich Piana. His video where he says all IGF-1 is fake. The problem is, is that all the IGF-1 out, in my opinion, is fake. And, uh, you know, I taken real IGF-1 once, which was about nine years ago. Yeah. And it was amazing. Really? I mean, it was truly amazing. And I've tried probably nine different peptide com companies, you know, to see if I could find that exact thing and nothing yeah. even similar. The goat has spoken, right? He called all the peptide IGF-1. And I think I did IGF-1 already on this channel. You can check those out. IGF-1, the normal peptide you buy off the peptide sites, it's not fake. Is a recombinant IGF-1, is it the GOAT standard Incrolex? No. Is there a difference? Yes. And when Rich Piana says that all IGF-1 is fake on the market and only Incrolex is real, there's some truth to that. But to say that if you get IGF-1 deaths and you're not gonna feel anything whatsoever, not true. It might not be like Incrolex, but IGF-1 LR3, IGF deaths, both work. Incrolex is the infamous, you know, $5,000 a vial, apparently. It's the myth that even I've propagated that some of the top of the IFBB use and have this plug for Incrolex, and that separates some of the mass monsters from the other ones. We don't know if they're actually using Incrolex or not, but we do know that Incrolex is a real compound and it's recombinant IGF-1. My source today is the Anabolics 11th edition. I highly recommend recommend if you're into PEDs to buy this book, but I wanted to go into some of the backing. But more importantly, I wanted to see if anyone had experience with Incrolex versus regular IGF-1 and if they could comment a write up down below, I will be reading the comments. So the common name for Incrolex is Macker Sermon and it was approved for the US drug market in 2005. This is a product that is used for people with gene issues regarding IGF-1, meaning they produce a normal amount of a growth hormone which growth hormone downstream converts the igf1 igf1 is what grows everything too much igf1 cancer not enough igf1 not enough cell replication bad death right so if you have gene issues you make a normal amount of igf1 normal amount of growth hormone but you don't respond to it this is where this comes in to supplement on top to get you to respond to igf1 like i said those peptide ones might be close but this is the absolute dna recombinant igf1 that everyone rants and rants and rants about it being the best pump growth peptide to exist not regular growth hormone but incrolex to a point where the hyperglycemia is insane you have to use so little one vial costs five thousand dollars so if a normal person who reacts normally to igf1 supplements incrolex not only are they raising their cancer risk through the roof they're getting this super physiological amount of igf1 that's not even comparable to anything else on the market and you would get stupid pumps crazy nutrient partitioning crazy muscle fullness, and overall you would get a sort of ballooned up crazy muscle belly look that would probably be almost impossible to replicate with something else is the theory with it. Incrolex is very hard to get, seem to, you know, need to know someone to get a plug, blah, blah, blah. But that is why it was developed. So the 
main side effect with Ingrilex is you're going to be facing hyperglycemia, which you get hyperglycemia from growth hormone, any of these peptides, even MK677 I've gone hypo on. So if you're messing around with anything in the IGF-1 category or growth hormone category in general, you want to keep some sort of sugary candy in your gym bag just in case you go hypo. You don't want to be going randomly dizzy, almost passing out in the gym and people looking at you funny when you could just have that Sour Patch Kids in there. Boom, fix that right up. But that's the main side effect. But I did want to read the other side effects. They have hunger, drowsiness, blurred vision, depressive mood, dizziness, sweating, palpitations, tremor, restlessness, tingling in the hands. So tingling in the hands is definitely going to be a big one with Increlex because the way you know your GH is real, Andrew, is if your hands go numb. That's how you know you're gh is very good shit so increlex is probably that times 10 considering you're bypassing all the step conversions of growth hormone and just literally supplementing direct dna recombinant igf1 another thing you might face with increlex but i didn't have any issues is bruising to the injection site so with igf1 lr3 and igf1 des i never noticed anything around bruising it was a water-based peptide and then the big issue with igf1 and i talked about an igf1 lr3 how sketchy that is but with increlex you know you're going to be growing everything so if you have cancer you're going to be dumping gasoline on that you're going to be growing your organs you're going to be growing your intestines you're going to be growing your heart this is all things this is not some selective thing towards skeletal muscle so just know that your jaw is going to grow everything's going to grow and this is the most powerful igf1 based peptide in existence it doesn't get more powerful than this. This is the last step conversion. So this is why I made the Increlex video because I wanted to see if anyone had experience with true Increlex and if it lives up to the hype that I'm talking it up to be. Have you tried Increlex? I would like to read up write-ups comparing Increlex to GH, comparing Increlex to, you know, the normal peptides found on the market such as IGF-1 LR3, igf DES, CJC, CJC with DAC, all these ones. Like, is Increlex just way up there? Or is it not as you know superior as people make it out to be like i'm making it out to be i would really like to read someone who actually got an increlex plug tried it and overall gave it a shot Give me what you thought about it because this is like that elusive compound that everyone throws around that at the top of the ifbb some of these guys have this increlex plug and that's why their results are this insane their muscle fullness or muscle bellies look like that is that true i don't know could you achieve this look with gh or lr3 I don't know, but all I know is that, again, Rich Piana talked about Increlex being insane, and I have heard around the grapevine that Increlex is no joke and that it is used very sparingly where the IGF-1 peptides on the market, I mean, you would use it sparingly, but it's not like people still blast igf Des all the time. People still blast LR3, apparently with Ingrelex, like a little bit goes a long way. But I honestly just put this video up to see if anyone had experience with Ingrelex down below because I wanted to read it. I will see you guys in my next video.